Welcome back to Greg Plays Games. Today we have the very first game review on the channel, and it's a good one. Today we have Katamari Damacy Reroll for the Nintendo Switch. This game originally came out in 2019, I believe. It's a few years old at this point, but how I'm going to do my reviews is I'm going to break it down into some categories. So we have graphics, art style, music, atmosphere, creativity, characters, and then last but not least, gameplay. And I will individually rate each of those things and then give the overall score, which is, of course, an average of those. So thank you for checking out the video. Please give this review a thumbs up if you like it and definitely consider subscribing to the channel. First up we have graphics. The graphics of this game are definitely not the main draw necessarily. Um, they are intentionally low, uh, like lower polygon style graphics. I'm sure part of it just has to do with the sheer amount of items that are included in the game that you can roll up and kind of cling to your ball. So I'm sure part of the graphics is for the function of the game. But uh, they've definitely been up from the original PlayStation 2 version, but they still maintain the charm of the low, uh, low polygon or lo-fi aesthetic of the original. So they definitely improve on what they were from the original game, but they maintain the charm and characteristic of it. Uh, on this version of the Switch. So I'm giving the graphics an 8, even though they are not the most visually impressive. Uh, they're definitely crisp uh, and clear, and uh, they are just kind of the main charm of the game. Next up we have art style. This one really goes hand in hand with graphics, uh, especially for this game. Uh, and this one is totally subjective, but I'm a huge fan of the art style of this game. It's very minimalistic in a lot of ways. Like it's not incredibly detailed, kind of like I touched on in the graphics discussion, but it really kind of just strikes a chord with me. It's everything that I like in a game. I like bright colors. Uh, I definitely prefer a cartoonish aesthetic, and this is right there. So I love the bright colors. There's a lot of humor that comes through in the art style as well. There's a ton of just little interesting trinkets to look at in the different parts of the game. As you kind of get make your Katamari bigger, the, the buildings and everything become a little less detailed, um, and it's a little more blocky. Whereas when you're on the smaller side, you can kind of see the, the close-up details of uh, the smaller trash items and everything. So I'm a huge fan of the art style. It kind of reminds me of an acid trip, but gone right. So I'm going to give the art style a 10. That's a perfect 10. Next up, we have music. And the music in this game, it, it definitely complements the, the, the art style. It is really weird, but in a really good way. There are different points in the game where the music matches the fast pace of the time, the time constraints on the game. And there are other times where the music complements it uh, in a way that kind of just puts you in a trance as you kind of go through and and collect items in some of the, the later levels where you have extended time frames. Um, so it does a really good job of complementing what you're doing uh, and it also does a really good job of complementing the art style. There are also several different languages in this game so it's it's got a nice mix of diversity in, in what you hear. I think part of that is because after a certain point the songs themselves get a little repetitive and you start to hear the same songs over again but there just might be something slightly different about it. 
There is one thing that is a bit off in the music department in this game, however, uh, really just sound in general, and for some reason it is so much louder than every other game that I play. Um, it it, it kind of blows your speakers out, so that's something to keep in mind. It's kind of a minor inconvenience, it's just kind of turning your TV down a few clicks than you would typically keep it at, but it definitely catches me off guard every time I start the game on. But the music, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10, uh, in part because of the repetitiveness and nature of it, but also because of just how loud it gets at certain points. Uh, but all in all, great soundtrack to the game. Next up we have Atmosphere, and this is really answering the question is, does the game have... That cream, pure vanilla, sweeteners. And I think that this game definitely has some of that. The combination of the gameplay, the art style, and the music, it definitely puts you into this weird world of Katamari Damacy and it is not really like any other game I've played before um, but it is not one of those games that fully enthralls you necessarily like you're not playing for extended periods on end and part of that is actually just the nature of the game is that the levels are timed so you're forced to explore it at, in this in this way other than in the eternal levels but uh, those come later on in the game so you are kind of forced to play it at a certain pace at different points um, and it's really just not the intention of the game to just you know f be fully in it in, in the same way that an RPG would necessarily do it so I am going to give the atmosphere an 8 because it does a really good job of sucking you into this world but I'm docking some points just because of the the time constraints and sort of the pressure that it puts on you to to hop in and out of different levels. Next up we have creativity which for me is one of one of the most important categories that I look for in a video game, especially a game like this where I kind of know that it's going to be a shorter play playing game. Um, I definitely want something unique and interesting to gain from the experience and and this game is definitely not short on creativity. Just the entire premise of this of this game is a, is a fully original idea. And um, I mean, even this being a remake, this is still refreshing and new, especially in comparison to a lot of the other games I've played. So creativity, strong nine. Next up, we have characters. There is not a ton of uh, dialogue in this game or characters for that matter uh, you play as the prince who doesn't say much of anything and the character you interact with the most is the king I'm totally drawing a blank on if there's more to the name but he's definitely self-absorbed and very funny it's always kind of interesting to see what dialogue he's going to share. Um, and then of course there are the people in the world too that you kind of terrorize as well. Um, so it, it's definitely a funny world and the characters exude that same humor. Uh, there is a bit of character customization with your Katamari uh, roller, I think. Um, so there is a, is a degree of self-expression in that sense. Uh, so characters, I'm going to give an 8 because they're not a huge part of the game, but when they are there, they're funny and they're appreciated. Next up we have gameplay, and this is just kind of discussing, was this game even fun to play? Were the mechanics of it designed in a way that enhanced the gameplay experience? And the act of actually rolling the ball is definitely tricky to learn. There is a tutorial at the beginning, but even after playing through a handful of levels, I never really felt like I was in control of the Katamari. And I felt like part of it was skill to a degree. Maybe it was design intention, 
but I definitely wished that it were a bit snappier. I just wish that it weren't as loose. Um, I mean, it, it makes sense that as you add more weight onto this this massive ball, it, you get less and less control. And I understand that, and I and I and I think that is the right direction. However, even early on, when you're a bit smaller, I don't quite have as much grip and movement control as I really want um, so that really could just come down to personal preference I think the logic behind why they have it like so cumbersome to control makes sense I just kind of wish that it were a little tighter uh, so I am going to give the gameplay an 8 because it is fun uh, I just personally kind of wish that it were a little bit more crisp so in conclusion the game gets an 8.4 from me overall i really enjoyed this game i thought it was a ton of fun it's hella weird um the music is awesome the, i love the art direction but it is also very challenging i don't think necessarily this game would be for everyone the controls are are kind of hard to figure out at first um and even later on when you get further into the game it's it still stays pretty challenging uh, there were some things that were a bit off I thought that the sound was a little strange um, I do wish the controls were a little tighter but I, I, I think this is an awesome game uh, I think that it gives you an opportunity to go back and replay a lot of the levels too so maybe part of the reason why my issues with the controls are so prevalent are just because I, I didn't really go back and, and replay some of those older levels but I didn't really want to I thought that I really enjoyed the time I did spend with the game and I didn't really want to sour that by kind of doing that whole grind uh, so thank you for checking out this review let me know what you think about the 8.4 do you think that's too high do you think that's too low do you think it's on the money subscribe to the channel if you haven't already drop me a comment what score you would give the game and like the video Peace.